Frederick Christensen, Senior Advisor on Innovation to the Hope Family, Women and Children Health Assistant, Director General. Welcome to San Patignano. And uh, the first question is, is about the, um, uh, what, um, what do you do concretely for the uh, positive economy? Okay, so, um, so the World Health Organization is part of the UN family and uh, I think it's hard to sum up, but I think uh, the organization uh, supports uh, countries in their development of national plans for health, uh, and as I talked about here earlier today, you know, health is such an integral part of development uh, in any country and other sectors are such an important part for the development of health. So we really inter, we all need to sort of interact um, to really develop countries and develop the positive forces in countries and the positive economy. Um, that's the very general question. In, in more specifics, I think we um, we also work uh, very concretely with a number of uh, new innovations uh, that uh, hopefully will you know, move the world in a more positive direction, like uh, the use of mobile telephones for the benefit of healthcare, uh, the use of new technology, uh, new ways of organizing, etc. Et so there's a lot of things I hope we're doing. And um, uh, what do you think about positive economy? Do you think it's something for um, just for dreamers, or it's a dream coming true? Well, I think uh, you have to start with dreams, and uh, I think it's a very. Uh, I must say, I, you know, when you, when I heard about this uh, before being invited, it sounded very much like you know uh, many other nice words. Having been here for two days, uh, I would say it's much more concrete. Uh, there's a lot of positive uh, energy around this and a lot of concrete actions. Uh, you know, everything from social entrepreneurship to uh, big corporations taking responsibility. And, uh, and as uh, uh, Ms. Moratti summed up, uh, this whole shift from a sort of short-term um, short-term capitalism towards a, what she called the patient capitalism I think is really critical for the big issues of uh, the world I mean everything from uh, from the um, uh, global challenges in, in the environment uh, climate change you know these are big issues that need to be addressed uh, with a long-term perspective and I think this is part of that movement the last question is about San Patignano. Mm, we consider Sampa uh, like a family, like a house, and because we live here every day. Um, what do you think about this community? Mm. That's been a bonus uh, to get to know uh, about uh, Sampa, is what you call it. And uh, uh, I think it's uh, amazing. It's really, really, very, very impressive. Uh, it's been wonderful to meet you know, you and, and uh, some of your colleagues really personally uh, and understand the, uh, how, how this community is developing and how sort of in, you know, how, um, what should I say, um, how integrated it seems to be. And as we talked about with your excellent uh, uh, chief doctor, well, in terms of also the f what I liked is the fact that it's not based on theory but it's based on a lot of practice, a lot of experience and a lot of, uh, you know, your own, your own decision making. And I, you know, so it's, it's a wonderful uh, model. And uh, I think uh, the World Health Organization will actually be interested in looking more at it. So.